today I'm going to show you how to design this feature section in DV5. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to add my columns. So the column structure I'm going to go with is this one right here. So it's about a quarter and three quarters. So let's go ahead and select that. Now on the left here, we need to decide what we need to add there. So the first thing we're going to add is a text module. So let's go ahead and add all the modules that we need in here. I know I'm going to need another one of these. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And then the next one I'm going to need is a heading. So I'm going to come over here and select my heading. All right, fantastic. Over here is where we're going to have all our features but let's first of all work on the left side first okay so let's start now by adding a bunch of text so i'm just going to go in here and just choose a little bit text from lorem here so i'm going to go in triple click that paste it now it's time for our heading i'm going to come over here and again i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to grab a bunch of text here triple click paste and then I'm also going to add a bit of text here. So let's go ahead and uh, grab a bit of a paragraph like that. And then back over here, we're going to go in and paste it. Now, there's also another way of doing this. If you want to do it the long way, you select the actual uh, module and then you can come over here and then paste your text like that. OK, so it's pretty much up to you how you're going to do this. All right. So the next step now is to further customize this because we want this to look as beautiful as possible. So we're going to start off with this text here. So I'm going to select it. And then over here now on the design tab, we need to make sure that this is turned into a label. Okay, just like that. Now, as I start modifying this and start making it look great and responsive and fluid, you're going to notice that I'm using a design system called Crafter. That's the quickest way of doing things. Otherwise, I would have to have come over here to text and then I'll choose the size and then I'll make this uh, all caps, change the letter spacing and so on. Now that just takes quite long. All right, so next I'm gonna come over here on my heading text. And again, I'm not choosing any any uh, sizes, I'm just going to come over here and choose my preset. I'm going to go with this one here. So heading three is fine. And then I'm also going to come over here on my paragraph. And I'm also going to just come over here and choose body text. Okay. So now you can see I've selected all my text, but we're not done yet because things don't look great yet. The reason is the spacing here is all over the place. So I'm going to select my, select my row settings change this row by coming over here to the top we're going to change it to content row so every time you add content on the page you need to make sure that the row is set to content row okay it's very important because this uh, follows a grid system this content row is designed based on a grid system all right so now that we are here we've selected our content row i'm also going to come back over here to content go to elements and you can see I have my two columns. The second column here is this one. It has nothing in it. So I want to target the first one here. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to come over here to design. And then on the layout here, we need to zero out all the spaces that we have at the moment, which are released uh, by default by um, well, with DV5. So we're going to say gap zero. So if you removed everything, it's out of the way. Now it's time for us to apply our own sizes. So I'm going to start off with this particular heading. And then over here on the spacing, I think we can uh, start off with uh, padding top. And then let's add it as small. Okay. And then for the bottom paragraph here, I'm also going to say padding top. So let's go to spacing. So we're going to say padding top. And this time it's going to be extra small because uh, this content here is close together. Now, do you see how this has already changed? I mean, this is already looking much, much better than how it was before, which is brilliant. So here is where we decide now, do we want to have a background color to this? So this is a decision that you need to make. So in my case here, I'm going to go in and add a background color. So with that selected, I'm going to go to my section content here, go to background. And then over here in my colors, you can see I have all my colors selected already. This is already in the design system. So I can choose, let's say, gray 100. And if I see that that's a bit too much, I can dial it back. So let's go back in. I'm going to go with gray 50 instead. 
there we go so this is really nice it's very subtle and it is much much better now as i'm working here i can see that my padding in my section here doesn't look great so i can always come over here to the top choose my section here and i'm going to go with large okay so now i have a lot more breathing space to my design and also this is very important in design by the way this is called white space so by having this it just makes your design look a bit more professional and aesthetically pleasing all right so what we're going to do next now is to come over here to this part of the column so i'm going to click here on this plus button so to design our elements i'm going to use a group okay i prefer using a group than uh, blurbs because um, i don't have full capacity to go in and customize it all right so with that selected inside this group i'm going to add a an icon okay so i'm going to search for my icon module here and here it is i'm going to select that okay great so now that i've selected that we need to adjust the size and to choose our sizes our design system has pre-designed sizes so i have a small medium large and extra large so i'm going to go with small okay we might need to change it later on i mean it doesn't really matter we can just play around with this and see uh what looks uh, better okay so let's try medium okay maybe that could actually work the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here to design and alignment so i want this aligned left okay all right, great. So after this now, I'm going to hover over this area and below this icon, I'm going to go in and add a heading. So there we go. I'm going to select my heading like that. And then below the heading, I'm going to add some text. I'm going to select that. Great. So now I have all the elements that I need. So let's go ahead now and add our text. So I'm going to start off with uh, the first one here, which is the heading. So I'm going to go in and change this and paste that. Okay, so that becomes my heading. Now this is my paragraph text or the description text. So I'm going to come over here again. And this time I'm just going to grab some text like that. All right. I also need to do the same thing. Go ahead and paste it. Okay. Now I've pasted everything. Everything looks great. The next thing I'm going to do now is to stylize this. We need to make this look great. So I'm going to select my group settings. And the first thing I'm going to do is to come over here to background and change the background to white. Okay. Because I really want this to stand out, but in a very subtle way. Okay. So when we design these uh, sections, we want to make very subtle decisions because we don't want our design to scream. Okay. So with that selected, I'm just going to close out of here and we're going to now come over here to design so over here on the design we're going to start off with our border so our border radius here is going to be small okay so you can see it's very subtle but i've added a border radius next in my border here i'm also going to add border one okay like that now i can see that it's a bit it's a bit too much so let's go ahead and change this color so i'm going to come over here to my border color and i'm going to choose gray 100 okay and you can see it's very very subtle it's very important that our design here is very subtle okay the next thing i'm going to do now is to add padding around this design so i'm going to come over here to padding oh sorry to my preset and we're going to go with padding small okay i think that will work because of course i'm going to add a bit more in here to populate this now before i duplicate this i'm also going to come over here just like what we did before our spacing is off because by default our spacing that we get with divi is not correct okay in fact before i do the spacing i'm going to come over here and just make sure that my text here is updated so i want this to be body text small i don't want it to be the same size as this okay next i'm going to select this and then i'm now going to go to my layout and set this to zero okay we've removed all the spacing okay the next thing we're going to do now is to target every single one of these now i'm going to go into my heading and then i'm going to say margin top for my spacing here and my margin top is going to be extra small okay and then on the paragraph here for my margin top let's go to spacing again for my margin top i'm going to say small Okay, so I think that works great. I'm happy with that. So the next thing we're gonna do now is to just make sure our heading here is set to the right size. 
So I'm going to come over here and let's try heading four. Yeah, I think heading four works. All right, so now that I have all the elements that I need, I can duplicate this a few times. So this one, two, three. So now we have four elements, okay? So as you can see, the way that they're structured here, of course, you may go with this style if you want this, but I prefer to uh, have them as a grid, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my row settings, okay? Now, before I make this a grid, I want to talk about my DV5 Mastery course. Now, this is a course that will get you from zero to pro using DV5. As you know, DV5 has been built from the ground up. It's completely different compared to DV4. So there's a bit of a learning curve. And this Mastery course is going to help you get up and running super fast. In fact, as you know, uh, DV is going to be out of beta very soon. So if you want to be really up there with DV5, this is the course that you need. It's only $27. And as I add more lessons to this, you don't have to pay any extra. So you pay once and pretty much that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and change this to a grid. So I'm gonna go here to my row settings, go to content, element. So you can see we have our two columns here. The first column is this one. The second column is this one here that has all my designs. So I'm going to select this now and then come over here to design layout this time we need to go to uh, flexbox so i'm going to come over here and then choose row okay so i know you're probably thinking but mac this doesn't look great what's going on here well you need to come over here and then choose auto grid okay did you see how that just changed auto grid just i mean auto grid is really awesome so now we have our layout, but we're not done yet because as you can see, we have our horizontal gap in pixels. I don't want that. I want to use my actual settings, okay? So I'm gonna go with the small. Now, if I see that this is a bit too much, I can always come in here and go medium, okay? And I think medium actually works better here. So that means my spacing here is going to be uh, uniform. And um, as I make my screen smaller, it is going to be responsive as well. All right, so what we need to do now is to just go in, change our headings here and change our icons. And to do that, you can just target it and then go to your contents. So over here on the icon, you can just change that icon to a totally different one. So I'm gonna go with this uh, lock here for this one. Now, as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, this icon here may be a bit too big, okay? So let's go ahead and change this from medium to small. Okay, I think small works much better here. Don't you think? But anyway, it's up to you. If you prefer a medium, that's fine. I'm gonna leave medium as it is. And one more thing, if you see that your spacing around your design is not desirable, you can just go in here, okay? Go to design. And remember, I set this to padding small. You can actually change this from padding small to padding medium, okay? So let's look for padding medium. Here it is. And I think that is much better, actually. <laughs> and then finally here, I just need to change my icon to small like that, okay? So now my icon is small. My design is looking much better. So all I have to do now is to delete these other ones here like that and then just duplicate this. Now, because I've auto grid set, it is going to pretty much, you know, rearrange itself properly. All right, so now let's uh, just update our icons. I'm gonna come over here to content. And for this icon here, uh, let's go with uh, this camera here. And then on the bottom here, we can change this to, let's say this email icon. Now I'm just doing this randomly, but in your case, you can choose of the icon that you that actually works with the section that you're actually working on. So let's go ahead and save this and do a quick preview. Fantastic. Now you can see here, this looks great. Now from yesterday, remember, I shared with you an idea where we can have different type of sections uh, using our grid system. So what we could do here is to come over here and duplicate the canvas. Okay. So let's say we want to have a darker version of this. I can just select this and then I can just target my background here and just make sure that I choose my darkest gray. Oops. So I just have to do that and then come over here. So I want gray 900. Boom. Okay. So one really cool idea is you can leave this as it is if you want to, but 
with our design system, we have a very fast way of getting this really, really uh, changed very fast. So here we have heading three, right? So we, now we need our uh, heading three. If you want to change your colors, you can just come over here and here are our colors. So you can do the same over here for your body text and so on. And then once you're done, you can also change the backgrounds of this. So if we go in here, let's see what background works. And this is the beauty of uh, using our design system here because we have several colors that we can test out and play around with. So since we have gray 900, we can try gray 700 here. And let's change the border. So I'm going to come over here to design, go to our border, and then we're going to change the border color. All right, so I'm going to go in here and let's try gray 700. No, that doesn't work. So we're going to go with gray 600. I don't know why I keep selecting the wrong color here. Okay, let's go again. Gray 600. There we go. Yes. So I think gray 600 works. So I'm just going to go ahead quickly now and just change uh, these colors. All right, so that's our final dock version. As you can see, you, all you have to do now is to go in, change the icons, change the headings, and also change the descriptions. So this is how quickly you can go ahead and design your sections, or rather your feature section in Divi 5. Now this is a balanced design because it has the right spacing system. It also has responsive text. And this is the design system that you need to use. It's called Crafter. I'll link to that in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.